If you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins to get the players that I'm reviewing, check the link in the description for cheap and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins. Yo, what's going on, family, and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing great. And today, bring out the player review of 96 overall halfback flashback edition. LaShawn McCoy, you guys have been requesting it, and here it is. Check out the back of this one. It's got 5'11", 96 speed, 99 agility, 97 acceleration, 95 carry, 94 ball carry division, 99 elusive, 78 truck, and 99 juke move. 2013 LaShawn McCoy. Let's check out the attributes. Some attributes standing to me that this guy has 99 juke, 95 speed, 99 elusive, 99 agility, along with 97 acceleration. LaShawn McCoy always been one of my favorite running backs in Madden Ultimate Team and pretty much in real life. I mean, it sucks that he's in Buffalo because I am a Jets fan and that is a rival of my Jets. But I've always been a fan of Sean McCoy. He's been injured prone for the last couple of seasons, so that kind of sucks. He hasn't been on the field as much, but during his 2013 season, he had one of an amazing seasons. Really amazing card. When you compare it to other cards, you'll see the 99 agility, the 99 juke, and a 99 elusive light up whenever you compare it to other cards. How does he feel on the field? Honestly, I don't know what it is. He felt bigger than what he is. When you just look at the card, he just looks big. I don't know. I don't know how much he weighs, but he looks really big compared to other linebackers and cornerbacks in the game. And he just broke a lot of tackles for me on his own. I didn't really use the juke move, the truck stick, or anything like that. He just broke a lot of tackles on his own. Honestly, just to give you guys a heads up, I think this card is one of the glitchiest cards in Madden Ultimate Team. Mark my words, definitely try him out for yourself and let me know how you guys feel about this card if you use him. Do you guys think that he's glitchy? I really do because he just does everything great by himself. Like I don't really have to do anything with the juke move or anything like that and he just broke tackles. But if you're good with utilizing the juke move along with his capabilities of just breaking tackles on his own, he's going to be amazing throughout the highlights. You'll see me score touchdowns and break off huge runs with him. He's decent when it comes to pass blocking. Actually, he's not that great. 48 pass blocking. Uh, don't utilize him in the backfield when you got to pass. But why utilize him in passing? All you got to do is consistently run the ball with him. A 96 stamina, decent stamina, not great. You guys already know how I feel about that. But he wasn't great he was in the game most of the time third downs he was there every once in a while but like i said when you break off huge runs with him he's going to get tired so that's the only downside with that 96 stamina once you break off huge runs i'm guaranteeing you're going to get a huge run with him at least one time in the game where he's going to be able to come out and you're going to need a decent backup to contain the runs for a few plays because he's going to get tired from the big runs you're going to get he does carry the ball pretty well he didn't fumble for me at all he got hit Tons of time, like I said, there are tons of cards with crazy hit power in the game with 100 plus hit power, and he didn't fumble for me. And I went up against those cards. I really enjoyed the card. Definitely great catching out the backfield. LaShawn McCoy has always been known for a great receiver running back out the backfield with 84 catching, 87 route running, and 81 catching in traffic. Definitely a well rounded, all rounded running back in my opinion just that he can't pass block like i said he was glitchy he just broke tackles on his own he ran people over he just his elusiveness is pretty darn good i really enjoyed this card like i said this card is definitely one of the glitchiest cards i've ever used in madden ultimate team even his bca ver card version card was glitchy in my opinion definitely worth a try worth a pickup Going for 160,000 both on a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Definitely try them out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think about it. If I have to give them a review, honestly, a 9 out of 10 is definitely worth this card right here. Let me know what you guys think about it if you guys tried them out yourself. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.